Metro Pro Wrestling here on Metro Sports. I'm Dave Borchard alongside Chris Goff. A big show again tonight, Chris. And here's Domino Rivera to get things started. Come on, everybody. Get up to your feet, Chris. You think this guy has a shot at the NWA Kansas title? Yes. I don't see Lucy by his side. I don't see Ricky Cruz anywhere. I don't think Domino has a shot of anything tonight. Well, as you like to say, Chris, they're just backstage because he doesn't need them. He's ready to prove that he can beat SBC and No, take I think the he does need them. That's my point. No, he no. needs some help out here besides the stupid cane man and the guy with the shopping cart. No, no, he's got hundreds of these hardworking blue collar fans here at Turner Rec Center in his corner tonight. That's more than enough to beat SBC. Look, Domino Rivera has no shot at winning the Kansas title if he doesn't have his friends out here. We all know SBC has two of the most powerful friends in the company, Jeremy White and Mark Sterling, the Kansas City Killers, Dave. Have you forgotten that Domino Rivera is the best administrative assistant in professional wrestling history? No, Dave. I remembered it five minutes ago when I went over to the latrine and saw the gleam off that thing. I mean, the shine is just unbelievable. And he's even better of a wrestler than he is an administrative assistant. There's, there's, it's not possible to be better. SBC, though, look at this, the NWA Kansas title right there. Yeah, that's great. I love how these jerks, the Kansas City Killers, have all the belts. Yeah, that's right, Dave. Yeah. Soon to be the NWA Central States champion is going to be Jeremy Wyatt when he takes on ACH in just a few, what, a couple of weeks from now. Yeah, 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 we'll see, Chris, we'll see. I can't, yeah. believe, I, I can't believe I used to like this guy. I can. If the ladies love him, he's got great hair, he's got the Kansas title. He's got some sweet hockey shoulder pads. It's great. Those are sweet. You're right. And yeah, there's at least two people I heard clapping for, for him. He must have some family in the house. Hey, Dan, tonight. who doesn't like a man with a cape? I mean, come on. You got Superman, you got SBC. What's so bad about that? Wait, this is from the guy, Chris Goff, here that rips on the heroes for hire at every turn. And now you say you like superheroes? They don't have capes. They just come out dressed like the Green Lantern. Give me a break. So a superhero with a cape is cool, and every other one's stupid. Look, when you look at the hierarchy of super, super why are you even talking about No, this about should this? be good. No, keep going. No, I want to hear this. Superman's at the top of the mountain. Who's going to cape him? Batman, him. OK? Stop laughing. You it's, know it's true. You're so profound, Chris. My point is, SBC is obviously easily going to grab hold of this NWA Kansas title tonight and take it back without breaking a sweat. Oh no, we'll see. Domino's certainly got all the motivation in the world. He's been trying to get a belt here for quite a while at SBC. You know what the Again, motivation he's is? Distracted by the fans here, Chris. The motivation of Domino Rivera is that Lucy Mendez got knocked out by a spear, okay? And she's still backstage probably on a gurney because she still can't feel her abs. You know what? I'd say Lucy Mendez is pretty damn good motivation, Chris. Wouldn't you? Yes, I Thank agree. You. She's a beautiful young lady. I understand that, Dave. But you know what, SBC, he knows that the Kansas City Killers run this town. They run Metro Pro Wrestling. Not just as Domino not only trying to avenge her, he may get some extra love and if he could bring a title belt backstage, Chris. That's true, Dave. I guess every man has that kind of motivation to bring back the gold. I mean, SBC, the lovely he's ladies. just looking for a, you know, a love tap for Mark Sterling. I don't think that's nearly as good of a motivator. Come on. They do daps. Here we go. The, the, the chants are starting for Domino, and SBC doesn't like it, and neither do I. It's starting oh. to hurt my ears. Oh, I see Retro Rick out there has brought his drum, Chris, and his full gear of sporty Kansas City memorabilia. That's pretty sweet that he broke out his Fisher Price toys to come here to bring it to their Turner Rec Center tonight. I mean, we know he plays with his little people back home, but it's nice that he can bring it to the show. See how this plays out. Certainly, as you've heard, the fans behind Domino Rivera, the challenger tonight for the NWA Kansas title. And look at this, wrenching that left arm of SBC. And SBC having to defend his Kansas title a lot lately. Had to defend it against Derek Stone, now Domino Rivera. Bit slow on that elbow drop as SBC, now Domino in control. And Chris, you mentioned Jeremy White facing ACH here in a couple weeks. White's in action as well tonight. We'll see him next segment against Jason Strife. Yes, dangerous J. Jason Strife up in Iowa. We haven't seen him in months, Dave, but of course he's a high flyer and Jeremy White's going to have a pretty good challenge when it's Strife versus Wyatt later tonight. Domino Rivera looking good here early in the match, Chris. I know you'd hate to admit it, but it's true. New ring attire for Domino Rivera. Big fan of that. It's better than us. You know, greased up jean shorts he had after he cleaned up the showers over there. Like, you know, he really did a good job with the tidy bowl, though. Wait a minute. 
You're from Belton and you don't like George? I don't even think that's possible. Hey, I like George. John Cena's good in him. Look at that. Arm drag by Don Rivera and another one. Arm drag city here. But it no better I'd say Domino was the champ the way he's dominating the early part of this match. Dave Domino just doesn't have quite the swagger SBC has, you know? SBC coming out here and get look, Dave, coming out here one on one. Doesn't have Sterling or Wyatt out here. He knows he can win this one by himself. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts, Chris. Every time you bring it up, it seems like that doesn't last very long. But SBC there with a big punch to the face. Illegal, I should mention. Look at that, bashing his head in that top turnbuckle. Domino reversing it now. Come on! Four. Five for Domino. He won't stop Six. Chris. Siete! Oh, oh I, I just spoke more Spanish than Domino. Oh, come on. Here we go. Yes! Face first into that middle turnbuckle, and Domino looks like he's knocked out cold. I looked like that the last time I ate a full bowl of beans. Okay. Here we go. Belly to back suplex, and here's the. No, I thought he was going to cover him, but he's, now he's going to bash his head a few more times. By the way, why did you eat a whole bowl of beans, Chris? Good dinner. Okay. Why are you asking that question? It just seems like match. a strange dinner, that's all. Here we go. One, only a one count for never SBC. Never had beans for dinner? No, I never had just a giant bowl of beans for dinner. No, I don't. I smelled your house. Well, two little kids, Chris. Oh, yeah. no, they have beans on, and a wife. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, knee on the back oh, of the on, head. And I'm choking him out on that second row. <laughs> Not funny, Chris. He makes some good faces when he's getting the crap kicked out of him. Shut up, you idiot. SBC now setting up for a suplex, it looks like. Go. And he hit it right in the middle of the ring. Snap suplex through the cover. And what? you're still there, Chad. What, what? It's only a two count, dum dum. Dum dum? Yeah, that's you. You're a dummy. Here we go. Chin lock and uh, just waiting time. And we do have some. You know, it's nice of SBC to give us a few more minutes for television time. You know, we do have an hour to fill tonight. You didn't want to you didn't want to beat him in a couple of minutes. That's not what he's thinking, Chris. Domino was in control early in this match, and you know it. I'll give SBC credit. He's doing well right now, but it's like Domino's about to work his way, hopefully back up to his feet here. Yes. This crowd firmly behind Domino Rivera as he's going for the Kansas title. Off the ropes, and look at that. Drop kick by SBC. He almost went over his head. He was so high. Here we go. Good elevation, but again, only a two count for Showtime, Bradley Charles. Showtime. Yeah, there Bradley you go. Charles. You have to get in your catchphrase. SBC. Good. Good for you, Chris. Somebody here at Turner X Center has to cheer for him. Let, 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 let's do a comparison, Dave. Showtime, Bradley Charles against Domino Rivera. Just doesn't have the same ring, okay? I, I can't, oh. I guess I can't really argue that. DDT! SBC doesn't have Lucy Mendez, so I think that's the great equalizer. Again, just a two count for SBC. So you're saying all it would take is SBC to woo over Lucy Mendez and you're a big fan of his? No, but I think I would give him the advantage as far as the swagger that you're talking about if he had a beautiful lady like Lucy at his side. Dave, he has a whole bevy of babes back really? home. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. This guy, he's a personal trainer on the side as well, if you can't tell. Guy's in tremendous shape, and the, the, the ladies just come and knock him. They want to learn from this guy. Hey, what does it take to be a personal trainer nowadays? Man, well, I heard muscles referee, and skill and strength, so things you don't have. I heard referee Pumpkin and Midnight Guthrie are both also personal trainers, whatever that's worth. Well, I don't know if they train. Finances? Here oh, we go. That. Domino with the reversal. You might have it now. Kicking out. Thank goodness, Domino. Not the king of Kansas. He does not deserve to be that at all. I don't even know who would want that dumb title. Mark Mangino. Huh. Speaking of eating the bowls of beans, look at that big plants him in the middle of the ring. I think it was more like a trough when Mangino went to town, Chris. That is true. Bowl of beans just an appetizer. SBC in control, and if you would have told me before the match we'd be talking about Mark Mangino, I wouldn't have believed you, Chris. Well, you know, that's what happens when you start talking about the king of Kansas. Here we go. Maybe a nice... Running power slam, but no! Throwing him into the turnbuckle. Here we go, close line. Domino with a nice reversal, getting the momentum back here. Big elbow and SBC off his feet. Come now, on! Now Irish went by Domino Rivera, but look oh, his head too oh, soon. Oh. Hey, telegraph called. Look at that though, power slam! Speaking of a telegraph, Domino caught SBC and almost got a three count. How did that almost happen? The Cowboys almost off his feet over there in the front row. 
Domino looks like he may be going all the way up, Chris, what? trying to finish off this match and take that NWA Kansas title. This is a place Domino's not at very often. Not good for him, and this is why. SBC does catch him, and now what? Maybe a superplex here. Maybe take a page out of Jeremy Wyatt's book. Ah, but Domino saw it coming. SBC falling down, look at Domino going to the top. No! He's got to fly, Chris. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and he hit the crossbody. Come on, no! Oh, oh, oh thank goodness. I cannot believe SBC kicked out. You know, the, the Kansas City Killers don't want to lose any gold, Dave. They do not want to do that at all. They have all the gold in the place almost. And if Domino could win that belt, Chris, he'd never have to clean a crapper again. Oh, breaking his chin on the top of his head. You're, Dave, no, he's still going to clean crappers. He could go on a that. tour of the world, Chris. Here we go. Yeah, the Kansas title doesn't mean that much, Dave. Come Autograph on. signings every night. Yes. Oh, I hate that stupid Here we splits. go. No. Yes, there we go is right. Thought he was going to put him away. That's usually what the splits means. Here we go to the top turnbuckle now. A superplex, maybe? Oh, look at this. There you go. He does need help, doesn't he, Chris? Look at the sweet haircut on the jam. Oh, Domino saw coming. It's Mark Sterling. Yes! He hit him in the nether regions. Oh, no. Come on, referee. Yes! No, no, he's got the title yes! too, Chris. No. He retains the title. Still your NWA Kansas champion. Is that the Red Rooster, Chris, in the ring? That's Mark Sterling, and he looks... He looks like he can kick everybody's butt. I love that haircut. What is this? Oh, this could be bad. Lucy, get out of there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. She tried to spear the champion? That's oh. like iron under there. What a bad idea by Lucy Mendez, but I admire her guts at least. <laughs> Look at her bounce off the muscles. What is this? No, they need three people out here. Ricky Cruz? Lucy Mendes distracts him while Ricky Cruz does that? Oh, how could you be upset? Domino was about to win the title if Sterling would have come down. There's no way, Dave. It would have played out. Just, they just cut off some time. SBC just won. Well, look at this. Ricky Cruz standing over Mark Sterling. He thinks just because he beat him in his debut match that he can take Sterling out all the time? I think not. Oh, well, it looks like it, doesn't it? Who's laying passed out on the floor, Chris? Look at the champion. He doesn't deserve this. Look at the big winners in the ring, that's what I'll say. Look at these three, Domino Rivera, Ricky Cruz, and Lucy Mendez. You do not want to mess with the Kansas City Killers. They're as strong as ever. This is horrible. I love his new haircut. What are you talking about? By the way, I don't know. As strong as ever, maybe a stretch, Chris. Where's Jeremy Wyatt? I, he's getting ready for his match. He's up next against Dangerous J. Jason Strife. He's just back there warming up, that's all. Well, no, there's been some dissension in the ranks lately. I don't know if they are as strong as you think they are. This just makes me sick. Ricky Cruz, you're lucky that Sterling was turned around looking at Lucy. Speaking of turn around looking at Lucy. Hello. Hi, gang. I'm Mean Gene Okerlund from the WWE. You're watching Metro Pro Wrestling right here. Not bad. The Turner Recreation Commission is a full-service recreation facility located in Kansas City, Kansas. Program offerings include youth and adult sports, boxing, karate, dance, tumbling, cheerleading, fine arts, child care, youth and adult fitness classes, 50-plus programs, a fitness center, year-round aquatic programs, birthday parties, rentals, and much, much more. For more information about TRC and their programs, please visit their website at turnerrec.org. Metro Pro Wrestling is brought to you in part by Pizza Shuttle, the best pizza place in Lawrence, Kansas since it opened its doors in 1984. Open seven days a week until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. on the weekend. Order online at pizza-shuttle.com or give them a call at 785-842-1212. Pizza Shuttle, a proud sponsor of Metro Pro Wrestling. Welcome back to Metro Pro Wrestling here on Metro Sports. 
Another good match coming up here, Chris, is dangerous Jay Jason Strife. We haven't seen him in quite a while. He's going to take on the still making his comeback at the current time, Jeremy Wyatt. Jeremy Wyatt, 2-0 and now since coming back from his broken leg in just under two months. Amazing he could come back from that, but Jason Strife here hasn't been here, but these guys have battled many times in the past. Jason Strife, a very strong high flyer, very flashy individual, very good wrestler. Glad to have him back in Metro Pro, but unfortunately for him, Dave, he's facing Jeremy Wyatt. And Jeremy Wyatt, we know he's been undefeated, like you said, 2-0 since he came back from that serious injury, but you know, he's been tested more than we'd be used to him being tested before the injury. He's had some tough matches, hasn't put guys away that easily. And I don't know what you think. He still can't be 100%, Chris. He came back so quick from that injury. No, like I said, you break your fibula, it almost shatters down by his ankle. He has a metal plate, metal screws in there still to this day. But he comes back in less than two months, has two matches already against Davey Vega and Domino Rivera. Wins both of them, but yeah, if you can watch it, Dave, you see the cardio's not up there. He's got a, a little tiny bit of ring rust just out of cardiovascular because, you know, he just, just hasn't been able to do it in a couple, two, three months now. Like, now that I look at why it's nice that uh, Mark Sterling is trying to copy him and steal his haircut. They may have some, you know, hard feelings right now, the Kansas City Killers, but at least Sterling's trying to suck up to him by copying his haircut. Hey, I like that haircut, and you'd like it too if you could do that, you know? Oh, I could do it. You had a hair on my hair out for about seven years. You had a hair down the middle, you could do that as well. You look like referee Wilco's in there right now, Dave. There's not much to deny that, Chris. Hey, Don Diablo's got his dress shoes on again, that's great. It is nice, he got the memo this month. But you know what, Jeremy Wyatt and Jason Strife, this should be a very good match on paper. Uh, and I'm sure it will be. When was the last time Wyatt let you down, Dave? Never. This is the end. Oh. answer, never. He's, he lets me down pretty much every time he steps in the ring, Chris, because he never loses. Absolutely right. Jason Strife, this guy's been around the world since we've seen him last. Had a tour of Europe, now back in the United States and back in Metro Pro Wrestling. And uh, Jeremy Wyatt, uh, maybe you can introduce him to some of Jeremy's, <laughs> Jeremy's crowd over there, his fan section. I think Wyatt was just saying hello to Medea over there, which he likes to do. She's here every month. A little worried about what we may hear here, Chris. Do we keep talking or be quiet? I don't know. Dave, we should probably keep talking. This is a family show. He starts talking to, you know, Medea and her son, an Oakland Raiders fan. Man, those two guys in the back row look pissed. They do. Here we go, though. Jeremy Wyatt not wasting any time. He does, he, maybe a little bit of time, but not wasting too much time before he gets to work on Jason Strife. Wouldn't expect a clean break here from Jason Strife. And, hey! Yeah, there we go. A little push, a little intimidation no, attempt. It's just, a, hey, wake up, buddy. You're in the ring with Jeremy Wyatt. I think he probably knew that when he signed the contract for the match, Chris. Here we go. Look, Strife said he's going to get him from Medea. Whatever. Okay? No one's ever done that before. Oh, this guy hasn't lost since last year. We'll see how it plays out. There's no doubt he's on quite a winning streak right now. Jeremy Wyatt, though, needs to keep his focus on the action of the ring because Jason Strife is no pushover, Chris. No, he's definitely not. We've talked about that. If there's any weakness to Wyatt, it's that he listens to these morons too much out in the crowd. I mean, one of these times we're going to distract him at the wrong moment. Somebody like Dangerous Jay is going to be able to take, take them up on the opportunity and beat Wyatt. There's no way. That's not going to happen tonight, though. Oh, I can't wait for the day when it does happen. And look, at this, look at this idiot. Did he just do a curtsy? Was, he, was that his impression of Lucy Mendez? No, he seemed very natural, that girlish maneuver, I'll say that much. Are you seriously saying that right now? I just said it. Yeah, you're, 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 a big, you're, you're a big tough guy. You're like those guys who write on the internet boards. You're being real tough behind your computer screen. Oh, I'm a blogger, too. There's no denying oh, it, What Chris. a shock. Yeah. Just go to my website, boomgoesdynamite.com. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. It hasn't been updated in two years, though. Here we go. Big shot by Jason Strike. Look at that, Strife with the upper hand, sending Wyatt into the corner, and he's he's hurt a little bit. Well, maybe he should forfeit, huh? Like he'd ever do that. Go back and take a little rest of the The back. guy finished the match when he broke his leg. You think he's going to forfeit? But Dave, we talked about it. He's got, the, he's got the metal plate and metal screws right there in his shin ankle area. 
And that could be used. We've seen it used. He took out Davey yeah. Vega. Yeah, you're saying it can be used. He tries to use it every match. Hey, it's been cleared by all the officials here, so he can go out there and use it every once. We know how smart these officials are that run Metro Pro Wrestling, Chris. Yeah, they're geniuses. That's not what I'm saying at all, no. Look at this, a battle of attrition here. Seeing who get the upper hand. Twisting that left arm now. These two very evenly sized, really. Strike a little bit more of a high flyer than Wyatt, but Wyatt's known for his high flying moves. We see, we know he does this tribute to Macho Man, his huge elbow. He does the superplex off the top. He does a lot of things. Look, taking him down like that. Very close to snapping in the cross base. Look at this. Yes, oh, lock it is. in. Yeah, it's got it though, Chris. He's got his foot on the ropes. Oh. So lucky to get to that bottom rope with that foot, Dave. Because it was going to be over. How many times has White taken out somebody with that submission move? Oh, it's a devastating move, there's no doubt. But like I said, give Stripe credit for having it scouted. He scooted back right away to get White to break the hole. Waist lock now on Wyatt. Off the ropes we go. Look at that leap bro. Oh, oh, nice. Nice schoolboy to take down Wyatt. And big drop kick to the head. Wow, sliding baseball drop kick. It looked like they're right to the head. Like you said, two feet right to the face of Wyatt's hurt, Chris. Wyatt's on the outside. What's Stripe going to do now? Yes. No, he landed on his feet, though. Wyatt, Wyatt's smart to get out of the way. Oh, no. did you hear that impact? Yeah. Kicked him right on his shoulder, his arm right there, Dave. Jeremy Wyatt's in bad shape here, Chris. Here's a cover. You almost had him. Barely got a one count. What are you oh. talking about? Yeah, well, yes. For those stupid Iowa reps. Down to three in like a half a second. Round into it here, and Stripe delivers a huge running chop. Look at this. Here we go, baby! Tilt-a-whirl DDT, maybe, but no! Look at that. Whipping him down with that left arm. Wyatt had that one scouted, and now... What are we going to see next here? Wyatt with the big kick to the face. What doesn't Wyatt have scouted? This guy's awesome. I can't deny that he's awesome, Chris. I just hate his attitude. You know, the thing that I can't wait, Dave, is that Jeremy Wyatt has told me he wants his titles back. He's going to take that NWA Central States title back from ACH. Oh, that's a great point. He wants his titles. He's going to take on Mark Sterling and take his title back and kill the Kansas City Killers. Look, You're right, Chris. I agree with you. Stop stoking the fire, Dave. Look, he's, he's working over Jason Strife in the ring right now, OK? There's a little dissension there, maybe. OK, White, White is sort of unhappy that Metro Pro Wrestling stripped him of both the Metro Pro Town. Look at that. That's the same kind of baseball slide that led to him breaking his leg earlier, Dave. And he's still doing it. That's how much That's how much guts he has to do it again. Or stupidity, depending on how you look at it. Too bad he didn't break his leg again on that. Yeah, please. It's a fluky thing. Anyway, there's a little dissension between Sterling and Wyatt. Sure, there should be. Wyatt wants his titles back. Just so happens that one of his good friends has his Metro Pro title. So who are you pulling for when they face off? It's going to happen at some point, I think. Dave, Mark there's Sterling no was... way they're going to no, no. face off. You have to pick. Who are you rooting for, Chris? That's never going to happen, so shut up. Here we go. Throws Jason Stripe back into the ring. Let's finish this matchup first before you start calling matches. Oh, in the you're future. the one that's talking about him being ACH, Big Mouse. So yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that match about. is already signed. That's actually going to happen. Not your fantasy world. A him versus Sterling. Strife is down, but trying to kick at Wyatt's legs, trying to get him back off his feet. Well, thank goodness he's kicking his left leg, not his right leg. That's his bad leg. If Strife had anything scouted, he'd know to go for that. Sterling in control here. What's he going to do with. Dangerous J off, oh, big knife edge chop. How'd that feel? Like butter. Great. If it felt like butter, it probably wouldn't hurt that much, Chris. Like no. a knife through butter. Right through his tendons and all his muscles in his chest. What? That's the worst analogy no, you've it's, ever yeah, No, it's not. Yo, look at this. Trying to fight back Wyatt, but Wyatt's got full control there. Working over that left shoulder now. <laughs> Big elbows to that left shoulder by Jeremy Wyatt. A clean break. Yeah. First we, time for everything, huh? That's what we know him for. Here we go. Waiting for this one to end, Dave, so we can move on and uh, see what's going to happen later tonight. Oh, huge flare chop again by Wyatt. Oh, but Stripe one of his own. Oh, come on, referee. How's that retina feel? Yeah. Jesus. Referee Wilkos used to seeing that on the set of Jerry Springer. Seeing it again here in the Metro Pro Ring. Hey, he didn't actually work there, Dave. Oh, okay. I thought it was actually him. I was confused. Look at this. He's going after the midsection of Wyatt, but that 
face buster breaking that arm right there in his shoulder. Looking pretty good. <laughs> he wants him off his hair. He ain't like pulling his hair. Oh, definitely pulled his hair. I saw Chris. Wyatt's got hair. Like Stripe's hair shorter than yours, Dave. Look at this. Look. Clean break. He's looking for his contact. Look. <laughs> Rick doesn't see him just joking him with his chair. It's disgusting, Chris. Look, Wilkos is falling for it. He's looking for his contact. Come on, man. <laughs> Bad guy. He's lying to you. Jason Stripe is all over the ref. It's sort of like when that girl said she left something out in the car and she left and you believed her and she just left for the night. Oh, I hate Remember it when that? that happens. During your entire dating age? Yeah, it's like pretty much every weekend, actually. Up and over in the corner and Stripe with the big four on shot. Going to the top now, this is where he's dangerous. You mentioned he's a high flyer, Chris, and there he is, a spinning elbow. White's in trouble now. Oh, this is great, the comeback no. attempt of Jeremy Wyatt. Maybe he's stopped in his tracks here, Chris. Reverse thrust kick, and look at that. Wow. The agility of Stripe, and here's a cover. One, two, oh, Wyatt kicks out. No. Why is the momentum going Stripe's way now? All of a sudden, he was doing his funny contact thing, and all of a sudden, Stripe took over. Yeah, he should have stayed focused on trying to finish him off, huh? Stripe in complete control now, but yes, spoke too soon. Look at these shots to his chest by Wyatt. Open-handed, not, not illegal. And Stripe now, belly to back suplex. And again, if he keeps going to the top, Dave, Wyatt's in trouble, look at that. Big knee, shin to the face. Wow, Stripe no. is almost a three count. And boy, Stripe has pulled off his sequence of back to back to back. High flying, a very unique moves, Chris. I like this guy. I told you, Jason Stripe is a heck of a wrestler. Great to have him back in Metro Pro Wrestling, but unfortunately, for both sides, he's taking on Jeremy White. White's saying, unfortunately, now he's down holding his chin. He doesn't know what's going on. And Stripe's perched up top. Stripe looks like he's trying to finish him off here. Can he do it? Oh, Wyatt caught him, driving him back. <laughs> thank goodness Wyatt saw that coming. Big shoulder blocks in the corner. Yeah, thank goodness. Thank goodness is so right. Happy he caught him. Look at this, full Nelson, but no. Whoa, look at that. Spinning maneuver by Wyatt. Both legs are hooked. Oh, surprise Stripe kicked out, actually. He had a double hook there, Dave. How did he kick out of that? Both men down. It looks like White will be the first one up, but he's not 100%. Stripe's still hurting from that move, and Wyatt back up to his feet, and he is in trouble now. Look at this, going for the lightning spiral, but kicks out of it is Stripe, and look, German suplex. No! Oh. And what a match here. Rolls out of it, thank goodness, but Stripe is still in pain. His left arm is bothering him. And Wyatt is down on his face in the mat. You don't see that very often. Stripe saying he's going to the top yet again. We think if he can hit one more big high fly move, it might be enough to finish off the former champ. I've still never seen it happen. I'm waiting for somebody to do it. Look, yes. I think I spoke Stopped too soon. Yeah, spoke you did. Soon, Chris. You always do. Wyatt now climbing all the way up. Whoever can hit a move from up here is probably going to do some serious damage. I'm waiting for a superplex, Dave. That's what Wyatt needs to do up here to end this one. Third headbutt. Wyatt's still holding on. Doesn't look like that superplex is going to happen no. anytime soon, but Wyatt is still holding on. He can't knock him down. Now you spoke too soon, big guy. He knocked him down. Strife all the way up, I think. But he's not 100%. Look at him slowly making his way to the top. Dave, this is trouble for Wyatt. Frog splash! Thank goodness he moved. Looks like one of those frogs that got smushed on the side of the road, Chris. Look at that, Dave. Finishing him off with the kick of death. Oh, he got it. A steel plate, right? Yes! Oh. That's great, look at this, one, two, three, and Wyatt beats Jason Stripe, and the crowd is going crazy. Yeah, yes. listen, listen to those crickets, Chris, I heard them. They're upset that Wyatt didn't win it quicker. I don't think that makes any sense, Chris. Look at this, Stripe is knocked out, Dave. Yeah, we know it, Chris. Completely knocked out. How is that move legal, by the way? Uh, it's a kick to the head, Dave, that's legal in wrestling. 
Well, a steel chair in the head is not legal, Chris. So what are you supposed to do? the same thing. You gonna, you gonna kick him out of the Federation for that? They put a big, like, uh, you know, bubble air pad on there. Yeah, pillow tape to it? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. That seems real fair. Jeremy Wyatt still undefeated after his return from a broken leg in Metro Pro Wrestling. Dangerous J. Jason Stripeno coming back and putting like a heck of an effort against Jeremy Wyatt. I thought he looked good here tonight. Like you said, Wyatt wins. He keeps advancing in his comeback. And we'll get a title sunshine against ACH coming up soon. Wyatt told me that he was going to address this crowd tonight. He thought it was time that he does something. Tell him how happy he is to be back. So we're going to hear from him right after this. Another count out. We've seen that a couple times already tonight, but the referee is making the count. Kanku Kid trying to drag his way back into the ring. No, they're up to five. Come on, just five more seconds and we're done. Hey, you can add. Good job. And he can't nah. Kid able to make his way back in. You know what? Just prolonging this agony is Kanku Kid. He should have just, you know, Harley should have trained him to stay outside and just take it like a man because he's going to come in here and permanently injure himself with Steve Fender. One thing the Cancun kid has displayed throughout his time here at Metro Pro, and especially tonight, he will not quit. He's taken a lot of abuse during the match, taking some right now, but he's a guy that's not going to quit, and don't write him off until all's said and done. Well, Steve Fender with the body slam out on the wood. Now he's back in the ring and just, just drilling into that lower back, right on the kidneys of the Cancun kid, and he is just reeling now. But the kid fighting back, a big knife edge chop there, Fender with one of his own. How much is behind that, though? He's just reeling. Exchanging flare chops, as you call him, in the center of the ring. Now Fender slapping him in the back of the corner. There you go, going back for the weak spot, his back, and another suplex right on the back. You know, I've seen this before. We used to see this, in, but Chris Benoit used to do this. Just continual suplexes, also Kurt Angle. Devastating. Three suplexes back to back, and that could be it, but no, just a two count. Cancun Kid again, displaying he, great heart here tonight. How is he getting up? This is a joke. Steve Fender should be able to put this guy away. How is this guy continuing to get up? And what is this? Steve Fender going for some kind of submission now. Thought it might be a Boston Crab. What's he going to do here? I thought he thought better of it. Sort of, a, it looks like it was sort of a reverse Boston Crab now. Trying to turn him over, it looks like. Cancun fighting it, but oh, he got to the rope, but uh, Fender not letting go. Got to break the hold here. He could be DQ'd. Of course, that would cost his team the match, but able to pull a Cancun get away seconds. from the rope. You have five seconds, okay? And look at this. Look at what kind of maneuver this is. Oh, wow, devastating. He's up like a pretzel. Now he just playing. Fender's worst part just about playing this is he can't now. even break the hold. <laughs> what if he gets his head on the rope? Does he have to bring it? Man, adding insult to injury there. Like a pinball, right on the bottom turnbuckle. He's definitely out now, let's go. Problem there is Cancun Kid right against the ropes, bad choice there by Fenner trying to pin him in the corner. I think a veteran like him would know better. Dave, don't question the, the strategy of Steve Fender. Hey, he was okay. in position to get a win, you gotta criticize it where it applies, and they're a big knife edge chop though. He continues to just go to work on the Cancun Kid, and somehow, some way, this little kid continues to fight back. There, the kid with an elbow to the face, stopping Fenner in his tracks. And again, big kick to the face. Cancun Kid will not quit. Now a punch sends Fender down to the mat. Steve Fender not not really happy right now. He's English uppercut there for the Cancun Kid. Now Cancun Kid trying to suplex. No, inverted atomic bomb. Atomic bomb. Has to hurt there. Cancun Kid now taking control of this match is unbelievable. Steve Fender better get back on his heels here because he's 
He, he has to understand this. Everything's on the line here. Derek Stone will be gone for good. Could be one of the biggest upsets in Metro Pro history. The damage that's been inflicted on that Cancun kid, and he's still fighting, and now looks to be in control here late in the match. Goodness, what is going on, Steve Fenner? Come on. Take it back. Bring it back. Look at this bridge by the Cancun kid. Get up. Oh, I thought he had the three count. And what a great move by the Cancun kid. Well, Steve Fender, man, he is reeling now. Come on. Come on. Get him. What's going on here? It's a small package by the Cancun kid. Oh, and again, I thought oh. he had the three count, but only a two. Oh, Steve, please. Come on. You need to get back in the offensive here. Again, Fender's face slammed to the mat. What's going to happen here? Again, it's a roll-up move by the KQ Kid. And again, only a two count, but precariously close to a three count for Steve Fender. Just the drop toe hold and the, the cover, and now Fender trying to get a little bit of momentum back, but can he at this point? What's Fender going for, a suplex? Kid able to land on his feet again. Going for a backslide type of move, and again, two you know, count only. Well, you, want, you, you better give Fender some credit. I mean, this guy, well, how much heart's he have? How much is he taking? Wow, what athleticism by the Cancun kid. This could be it this time, but again, only a two count. I really thought he had him that time, and now Fender rolling outside the ring. He doesn't want any more. This is smart. He needs to take a breather. He just needs to get his mind back in the, in, in the right gear. Come on, Fender, just come on. What, what is he? He needs to realize he if doing? he gets counted out, his team will lose it. Well, what is he, he doing? Make, is he waving the white flag here? What is this? Well, your so-called championship caliber no, wrestler, no, no, Chris. No, 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 no. He must be not away. silly. What is he, Bad News Brown? Just walking away? No, 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 he'll be back. What's going on? What's going on? I think on? the Cancun kid's going to win this match, What Chris? is going on here? Let's go. It looks like Harley Race is back, and he's making Fender continue in this match. That's what? great. Why is Harley Race getting involved? Derek Stone's career's on the line. Harley Race doesn't need to be here. Fans love it, so does the Cancun Kid. A couple of Harley students just throwing him back in the ring, and now Cancun Kid attacking from behind like the cheater he is. Oh, but he's able to get the reversal here. Oh and it's a my three count. Goodness. Unbelievable. And Derek Stone will get that elusive title shot. Harley Race, you are in big trouble, pal. Steve Fender's gonna come to Elton, Missouri, and he's gonna do some damage to that academy of yours. Derek Stone's career survives, and it's a big upset. An early elimination for Trevor Murdoch and Derek Stone, and what an upset is the Kanku Kid and Jason Jones, two of Harley Race's prize students. They can take out two Metro Pro veterans and Mark Sterling and oh. Steve Fender in the crowd chanting for Harley Race. Great, more Derek Stone, great. And I guess Trevor Murdoch now has to put his Metro Pro TV title finally, on the line. Finally. What? Now there's a finally about it. He doesn't deserve it. He lost in the tournament. So now Stone gets a title shot against Trevor Murdoch thanks to the fact that Harley students as minions here and Harley Race helped take Steve Fender out? You're not giving enough credit, Chris. I think Cancun Kid was about to win the match. You might not like it, but Steve Fender was running for the hills. Yeah, thank you very much, Harley Race. Thanks for more getting stoned. Thanks for Derek Stone, not Huge win, Derek Stone's career will continue, and he'll get that title shot against Trevor Murdoch. I'm sure Murdoch's not happy about it, but no. I think it's justly deserved. Murdoch has to be seething. We'll see where that title shot goes. Steve Fender knows he's in trouble. Trevor's not gonna be too happy with him. Thanks a lot, Harley Race. Join Metro Pro Wrestling 24-7 on social media. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash metroprokc. On Twitter, you can follow us at KC Metro Pro. Our YouTube page is located at youtube.com slash KC Metro Pro. And finally, our company website with all of our live event dates over at metrowrestling.com. Welcome back to Metro Pro Wrestling here on Metro you Sports. Get your money's worth right now. Jeremy White says we're about to get our money's worth, Chris. We always do with him. 
I got one question, kid. How old are you? 14. You're 14. So we're going to go out on a limb and say it's been 14 years and nine months since that guy's felt oh. the touch of a woman. Oh. <laughs> What's going to say oh. to my face, punk? That's probably true, Chris. Oh, say it to his face. It's been 14 years and nine months since you felt the touch of a woman. That's why he, he did say it to his face. Hey, he said it to his face. You have to give it to him. He went out there. What's he going to do? Why don't I give you a microphone and let's all play a game? Decipher what that idiot is saying. That's what he says every month. The only thing I ever catch what you say at all is, Yo mama, yo, 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 yo mama, yo, 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 yo mama. I love your mama jokes. <laughs> hey, he does spit when he talks. What? Somebody please be a translator for that guy. <laughs> Man, there's not enough money in the world to understand that. Oh, he's, he's going to kick his butt, Chris. Suck. Suck. You suck. 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 Suck
Come on, guys, come on. This is what I was talking about, Chris. Does it build me more than friendship? What is oh, look this? At this? They may go at it right here. No! It's the Kansas City Killers! You guys, are, you're, you're powerful! You're top of the company! Jeremy Wine won that title, Chris, so this could be the end of the Killers. What's this? We got family business and Bull Schmidt is here? Yes! Talk about out of left field. Why is he here? Well, if somebody's going to be having a match for the Metro Pro title, Bull Schmidt should be in the mix, don't you think? Well, he is a former Metro Pro champion, but why is he here? We got some major stuff going down here with Sterling and Wyatt, and he comes out here to interrupt. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Kansas City, Kansas, how y'all doing? You look great now that you're here, Bull. Cheap pop. Ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> I did not mean to interrupt your little mama's family squabble we had going on there. What? Especially with your reunion with Medea, Jeremy. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, by the way, your mama. Your mama? Yes! I just got served, okay. Chris. That, that was the memo. I got the memo. <laughs> guys, I hear you guys talking amongst each other a whole lot about titles. Well, from what I remember, I'm a former Metro Pro Heavyweight Champion. Yeah! And at last year's Tag Team Again, I pinned you, Mark Sterling. She's so deep! That's what you One, two, three. And that led to me taking out Derek Stone before he went cuckoo for Google Post. To defeat him in November for my first and not last. Metro Pro Heavyweight title. So next month, at Tag Team Again, Oshmitsan is dropping his horns into the event again to be a two-time winner of Tag Team Again and two-time Metro Pro Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. Yes, Tag Team Again is coming up the second annual one, and he says hey, he's hey, going to hey, get another shot. I know the medication hasn't wore off. I, look, I know I saw that. I saw that. You're having a mind all moment. My bad. My bad. Come on. Got cramps. I, I ain't even gonna go off with you, man. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> Guys. You know I look too good, Bull. I look good with the NWA Kansas Chief. Like a shaved munchie cheese, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you just called SBC a shaved munchie cheese. Like one of those skinny ones, one of those cats, they shave cats. There you go. Trebelli Charles, shave cat. Showtime. Shave cat. Grab a try. That, that's just stupid. I like that, but see, that's a great in, where I'm from, when you get called a shake cat, that usually means something else. Yeah. But I won't say that because I'm trying to start over, turn over a new leaf for a PG kind of setup. And as we all like to know, I tend to curse. No. Take it so! I do take souls and cast checks. That's one thing I do claim. That's about it. But guys, I'm done talking. I'm done hogging your spotlight. Just KCK, you know, I, I'm, I'm down for whatever you guys got going on. But I'll see you guys at Tag Team again. Bye -bye. Yeah! Oh, I can't wait for that next month, Chris. Why is Bull Schmidt coming out here? We have major problems right now in the Kansas City Killers. Jeremy White and Sterling going head to head. SPC trying to break it up. Showtime trying to break it up. And Bull Schmidt comes out here and declares he's going to take his title back. Call him by his proper name, Shave Cat Bradley Charles. That's Chris. stupid. Shave Cat. That's SCBC. That doesn't even make any sense. Shave Cat, come on. This has been a production of Metro Sports and Time Warner Cable, Kansas City.